Uh, liming a lot of time are taken for granted because when the power is on, people don't think about liming. It's only when the weather's bad and when they don't have lights do they start thinking about what's behind the scenes. And these guys give up a lot of their time, a lot of their, their family life uh, to do the work they love. And this is, is something they love more than it is an occupation in, in most of these guys' eyes. You know the sign of an expert is when they make it look easy, and you know for a fact it's not. The teamwork that's involved, uh, the rescue work over here, the way they're pulling wires, it's all just amazing to me. It's amazing how fast they work, and it just suddenly struck me that they're out there with energized lines. Doing this kind of work here, it's kind of a safe environment, but out there it's not. Go! Go! Easy, 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 put them on the dirt! Black! Ah. These guys typically do not see each other, the teams that come all the way across the state, do not see each other until they come to this competition or when they're in a mutual aid situation, when there are hurricanes and tornadoes, they all come together and practice and work together on their skill. I've come from the Midwest originally, so I'm familiar with the Kansas City Lineman's Rodeo. And I'm sensing here in Florida, particularly at this event, that, that these linemen can put their skill sets up with anybody in the world because I've seen everybody in the world at Kansas City and they don't have to take a back seat to anybody. Got an opportunity to get on with some contractors down there in Key West, and uh, as soon as the spot opened with Keys Energy, I jumped all over it, and uh, I love it, man. This event just shows how they can truly do their job, that they're knowledgeable. Um, and at the same time that they're doing, they're doing it in a safe way, which is what is important at the end of the day. They know that they're uniquely qualified to do the job, and they go out and they attack it. And um, for them, quite honestly, it's a, it's a real big challenge, but it's a lot, of, a lot of pleasure for them and joy when they get the customer back up. And um, those guys, again, all have tremendous pride in what they do. They know they are a unique skill set. And uh, not any old person can just uh, do what they do. And they know that and they take a lot of pride and they do it safe and reliable and, and that's what we expect. We've got like 13 Lima teams. And in that 13 Lima team, every event, you have a special way you want it done, but you see 13 different ways. And you learn from that. So it's not only just one way, you saw 13 different ways, and that's, that's what makes it good. Well, I understand a lot about it because I've competed in this competition since 2001, so I've brought the competitive side over to the judging side, and you know, it's, it's really neat to see how everybody thinks and be able to put things together come game day and, and go out and, and, and there's many ways to do a job, but like I said, safety is the key, and that's, that's what we're looking for. 
we're trying to emphasize to the teams that uh, this is about training and about learning. This is a learning experience. Uh, we want to make certain that they're understanding that, that it's not necessarily the competition, it's speed is not an issue, or oftentimes it is regarded as an issue. Everybody from JA knows people from OCU and Gainesville. A lot of there's a lot of family involvement there too. A bunch of different people are related to JA people. Same with the other ones. There's probably brothers and cousins way back on each side, and it's still kind of a we we butt heads. But it's still at the end of the day, if there's one in trouble, the other one would be there. You know.